False. We define science as the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Evolution is one of the most well understood sciences. A scientific theory is a well substantiated explanation for some aspect of the natural world that is acquired through the scientific method repeatedly confirmed through observation, experimentation, and peer review by the world's leading scientific experts from process through to conclusion and published in an established and well-known scientific journal. In science, we do not classify by kind. We classify by taxonomy. Kingdom, phylum, subphylum, superclass, class, subclass, superorder, order, suborder, superfamily, family, subfamily, genus, subgenus, species, and subspecies. Evolution discusses common descent. This is a process where over millions of years, small changes in morphology become taxonomically relevant. It is neither a forward progression nor does it exclude the coexistence of other subspecies of common descent. Your ancestor was not a monkey, but if you look back far enough, a now extinct primate morphologically similar to both subspecies links us in both DNA and bone structure. Evolution is the study of how life changes. Evolution does not address where life comes from. This is much like stating that the physics behind the motion of spinning bodies is false because it doesn't explain where the first wheel came from or how it was made. This is an interesting idea because it touches on two different perspectives that conflict. The first being the assertion of the watchmaker fallacy in which you must use special pleading to justify a deity's existence. This creates a logical paradox. Your deity has to come from somewhere in an infinite regression of deities, or your rule does not apply, and there is no cause needed for the universe. The second is that evolution is not cosmology. These are different fields of study. It is interesting to note, however, in quantum physics, you learn that something can, will, and does come from nothing. Part of understanding evolution is understanding three very important factors. One, Evolution is a response to changes in the environment. Two, changes in the environment take place over geologic time scales. Three, small changes add up over time. Through the multitude of transitional fossils, all fossils are transitional, we have observed changes. We have also artificially induced changes in response to environmental conditions on a microscopic level. Antibiotic resistant bacteria, for example. These observations are valuable as bacterial lifespans are very short. This means they breed quickly and evolution happens at an accelerated pace that we can observe. A good rule of thumb is the shorter the lifespan, the faster and more productive the reproductive cycle is. The more mutations, the faster the evolutionary process. This has led to the often misrepresented classifications microevolution and macroevolution. Macroevolutionary study focuses on changes that occur above the species in contrast with microevolution, which refers to smaller evolutionary changes within the species population. The difference between them is the time scale. The processes are fundamentally the same. This is why we can directly observe microevolution but require data from other sources like the fossil record to observe macroevolution.